What is up everybody, it's your boy Lance and so you ask, so you shall receive. Here's the event guide which is carefully prepared for everybody. We're going to just run through everything right now and then I'll give you my honest opinion on everything. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and put a peace sign in the comment section to show your support. Let's get to 1.5k subscribers so we can do that giveaway real quick, okay? So let's just have a look at the event. Here's a Tama, no good at sports, blah, blah, blah. Cutscene, let's just skip it. So I'm pretty sure we had this event before, but let's just run through it again. So catch ball, if you guys don't know, is the mini game where you catch the stuff, catch some bonuses, and you have to avoid the trash bags. So pretty simple. Extreme boxing. So for this event, a lot of people have been asking, should I just do today's boss? Should I just wait for the other boss? Is rotational, so it should be same price, right? According to my sources, the prices will be different. So ATT is expected to give the highest amount of price, but you can only do a limited time compared to Giro. So what I suggest is you do Watch Top Man and ATT first. And then on the last day, which is on the 10th day, then you spam all your tickets on Giro because it's unlimited. But if you want to rush, also it's fine. Completely up to you. Next, we have the steeple chase, which is what I would assume as the general event. So you get your item bonus, then you start farming these events. Usually the last stage of heart is the priority. If the stages are limited, then go to the last stage of normal and farm there. That's usually where the best price is. For the scoreboard, um, redeem everything, get as many tickets as possible and then if you want to rush the points, you can rush the points. You can also redeem quite a few good stuff from the podium or so I've heard. So based on the redemption chances, you have cores, um, more core chips. Eh, it seems to be so-so only the price, the pity rewards. So I wouldn't necessarily do it for the pity rewards. So let's see. Okay. Wow. That's a lot of good stuff. R&D precious gear box. Okay. This is defense. That's fine. 10 star ascension cards. Okay. Yeah. So probably do this event. Try to get the star ascension cards and the precious gear box because it could be something good could be something bad but like don't overspend i would say you still need to do your amai's talents but yeah definitely worth spending vitality for this event and if i'm not mistaken you'll be given the whistles so try to get the whistles before you do anything because the whistles actually increase your chances uh sorry increase your drops from the steeple chase so you definitely want to get as much bang for your buck and also there is a ranking system so you can see which servers are ranked based on this so it seems that mine is between server 128 all the way up to 136 the rank rewards you do get some pretty good price to be honest you get chose permanent character as well as the sigil box i think it's really worth to push for this and you get this weird selection box. Uh, I guess it's okay. I would personally go for the essence supply tickets, but completely up to you guys. Uh, I would definitely spend to chase this, but it's completely up to you. And that's about it. Now, if I'm not mistaken, after you clear stages, you'll be able to get more whistles. Mm, doesn't seem to be it for now. But we'll see. Also, make sure you change your lineup. Use your PVE compositions. Um, so let's see whether the stages are actually really hard or not. Doesn't seem to be at all. Second wave. Mm -mm, doesn't seem to be hard at all. I mean that's a normal stage so so I you so you can actually track your scores based on the redemption so I have 13 tickets now let's see okay we have 20 just nice so I just want to test this out and see how difficult the stage is so let's challenge uh, I follow up boost shatter and dot okay so I have a pretty decent uh, shatter dot team here already uh, I would probably hmm probably replace Goribas 
Read journals, I think. I think that's gonna be a bit more consistent. Maybe SDK for we don't have a tool list. Mm, I think. All right, we just go with Max. I think. Yeah, I think this is better. And then you want the max damage here. So, hmm, any other PVE characters which I want to include? No, nope, I think this is perfect already. So we just we'll see just how much damage we can actually deal. So you want to get eleven or eleven for this? Um, oh, that's a mistake on my part, but it's okay I think. Nice, we just barely made it up. Shouldn't have too much trouble. Next, we're going for this. If we didn't get lemon or lemon, that's a bit sad. That's okay. Mm -hmm. I'm just basically gonna annihilate. Shatter, perfect. Garo chop. I mean, okay, la, admittedly, this stage is, this, this Euro stage isn't as easy as I thought it would be. But it's still nothing too amazingly hard, I would say. Unless he one shots my whole team. Nah, not even close. I think with this uh, RMG full up is over already. Yep, pretty much. So, we unlocked Sweep with the first kill. So, I recommend not, as I said, not doing it now. Save for the Watchdog Man and ATT stages. Uh, you don't have to spend it now. For the time being, I think just going through the stages and just exchanging as much score points as you can would be the priority. Burn your intel if you want to burn today, it's fine as well. And then uh, start redeeming the podium prizes who knows maybe you get something good oh because something not bad to be honest okay so i think that's it for this uh, event video keep it very short very simple good luck everybody get that sigil stay home stay safe wear a mask when you go out drink a lot of water and as i said before subscribe like share so that you can get that juicy giveaway come on guys you're giving away a ton of Koda shop coupons and some free account reviews which will help you guys get a better account Peace. So guys, I actually found a way to get blue stacks to actually work on this game. So basically what you need to do is go to game controls, open advanced editor, and you click the tap spot, and you put the tap spot on the locations where you move your left and right. So it will look something like this, sorry. Uh, sorry, I'll just do a tryout. Look something like this. So you can, as you can see, there's the tap spot there, and you can just uh, oops, sorry. What? Sorry. You can just click the tap spots, and then you just move. So yeah, now you can play this uh, interesting catch ball game, like you're on mobile, but you're playing on your PC. So, welcome to my TED talk. I hope that this helped you. Um, I really, uh, it doesn't matter whether I'm playing on mobile or PC, I still stuck at, stuck at this game. Uh, <laughs> but I hope that a little bit of humor made you laugh and made your day a little bit better. And uh, I'll see you in the next stream tonight. Oh, bloody hell. I'm addicted to this game, to be honest. Ah, Astaga! Oh, the time! No!